Tuh, Porsche tuh, 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 In its latest show of military might, Iran has unveiled a new ocean-going warship with cutting-edge weaponry and technology on board. Tensions between Tehran and Washington have risen to an all-time high, with reports indicating that the United States was mulling over a military strike on Iran. Tehran has warned the U.S. of a crushing response in the event of such aggression. The naval fleet of Iran's Islamic Revolution Guard Corps has recently received a new domestically built ocean-going warship capable of carrying aircraft, drones, and missile defense systems. The heavyweight multi-purpose vessel, which has been designed for long sea journeys, joined the IRGC's navy during a the 4,000-ton warship, which is 150 meters long and 22 meters wide, can carry drones, helicopters, and operational vessels, as well as missile, air defense, and radar systems. It is named Shahid Rudaki warship after mortared IRGC Navy commander Abdullah Rudaki. The vessel is equipped with three-dimensional phased array radars, surface-to-surface -surface and surface-to-air missiles, advanced communication systems for electronic warfare, and a Khordad 3 air defense system, all of which are designed and put into operation by Iranian experts. The main uh, actual issue for the armed forces is to be uh, strong enough to uh, defend the country and to retaliate any possible attack against Iran. So that is part of that. And since we have the Persian Gulf and uh, actually the Caspian Sea and uh, south and north of Iran, it has been very important to have a, a good and powerful navy. Real Admiral Ayrza Tanksiri, commander of Iran's IRGC Navy, said the vessel can carry out combat logistical and intelligence gathering missions in the ocean aimed at establishing stable security in maritime transportation lines and providing assistance to the commercial and fishing fleets belonging to the Islamic regional countries. In recent years, Iran has made major breakthroughs in its defense sector and attained self-sufficiency in producing important military equipment and hardware which run the gamut from manned and unmanned aircraft to advanced missiles, vessels and submarines. This comes amid heightened tensions between the United States and Iran, which were already growing since Washington unilaterally withdrew from the 2015 Iran nuclear deal years ago. Reports are surfacing that U.S. President Donald uh, Trump has been contemplating attacking Iran's nuclear facilities. How does such a scenario benefit the president who is already in a crisis at home? Miller said last week that Washington will be cutting the number of its deployed troops to Afghanistan and Iraq to 5,000 from 7,500 forces that are currently present there. Just days later, however, the U.S. Central Command said in a statement that two B-52 bombers were deployed to West Asia on short notice to deter what it called potential aggression and reassure U.S. partners and allies in the region. That comes after the New York Times said in a report that Trump told allies what options were available to take action against Iran's main nuclear site at Natanz. The report adds that the advisors warned the president that a military action could spark a broader conflict in the region. There, has, there have been times that Iran and the United States have been much closer to a war between themselves. So, it's not a tough situation right now. It's not a, the tension is high to some extent, but it's not that high that we would be worried about any uh, any possible war. But the United States know that it's, it's not capable of attacking Iran and doing a war, uh, because we have seen for 20 years the situation in Afghanistan and in Iraq, and uh, the United States was not capable against those countries completely, and we were introduced to endless wars. Uh, because of those two countries. So let alone the, the I, Iran, which is actually much more powerful and much bigger than those countries. Some experts are now questioning how such an attack would help Donald Trump 
while the United States is dealing with political uncertainty over who will control the White House for the next four years following a contested election. Donald Trump announced the United States' withdrawal from the Iran nuclear deal in 2018 and launched his so-called maximum pressure campaign against Tehran by unilaterally reimposing sanctions on the country. His stance on Iran has been repeatedly criticized internationally, including even by the closest U.S. allies. But Tehran has won aggression by the U.S. against Iran, be it Trump's attempt to distract the American public in the aftermath of the November 3rd election, or an excuse to stay in power, will certainly be met with a crushing response.